In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on April 11, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Golden State Warriors vs. Portland Trail Blazers The Portland Trail Blazers are set to take on the Golden State Warriors at the Moda Center in a Western Conference matchup this Thursday night. Although Portland is out of playoff contention, they aim to play spoiler against the Warriors, who currently hold the 10th spot in the West and are heading for the play-in tournament. Golden State has dominated this series, winning five straight and nine out of the last 10 matchups, including all three meetings this season. However, playing away from home presents its own challenges for the Warriors. The Golden State Warriors are on a hot streak, having won eight of their last nine games. They're coming off a convincing 134 to 120 victory against the Lakers, with Klay Thompson scoring 27 points and Stephen Curry adding 23 points, seven rebounds, and eight assists. The Warriors shot an impressive 58% from the field and made 26 of 41 three-pointers in that game. They started strong with 38 points in the first quarter and never let up, extending their lead to as much as 18 points. On the other hand, the Portland Trail Blazers have struggled recently, losing 12 of their last 14 games. They suffered a 110 to 100 defeat against the Pelicans in their last outing, despite a strong effort from Dean Dryden who scored 30 points and grabbed 13 rebounds. The Blazers shot 47% from the field but were outplayed in the second second half, falling behind by as much as 20 points. The Warriors might face lineup challenges, with Dario Saric and Draymond Green listed as questionable. Portland continues to miss key players such as Anthony Simons, Malcolm Brogdon, and Jeremy Grant. Golden State is heavily favored due to their recent form and Portland's injury woes. The Warriors have excelled on the road all season and possess a potent offense led by Curry. Portland's defense will struggle to contain them, especially with their roster limitations. The Warriors have a solid 43-35-1 record against the spread this season, compared to Portland's 38-39-2 record. Golden State's strong road performances make the trip to Portland less daunting. Curry's offensive prowess adds to their advantage, as they are expected to overpower a depleted Trail Blazers squad. Despite Portland's front court strength, it's unlikely to change the outcome significantly. The Warriors have covered the spread in six of their last nine games and are predicted to continue this trend against Portland. The Warriors are currently playing exceptional basketball and were incredibly efficient from beyond the arc in their recent games. As long as they maintain focus, they shouldn't struggle to score against the Trail Blazers. Although Green's availability is uncertain due to a knee issue, the Warriors are determined to secure wins and improve their position in the play-in tournament. Meanwhile, the Trail Blazers have resigned themselves to a challenging season, evident from their 38-39-2 against the spread record despite consistently being underdogs. With their recent dominance over the Trail Blazers, the Golden State Warriors to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Golden State's offensive prowess should allow them to score freely, while Portland is expected to contribute at least 100 points. The Warriors have hit the over in 40 out of 79 games this season, and Portland has done so in 39 out of 79 games. Both teams play at a relatively fast pace, with Golden State ranking 11th and Portland 17th in pace. Anticipate numerous successful three-point attempts. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. New Orleans Pelicans vs. Sacramento Kings The New Orleans Pelicans are embarking on a road trip to face the Sacramento Kings as part of their final stretch of games this season. New Orleans currently holds a record of 47 wins and 32 losses, positioning them in sixth place within the Western Conference standings. They're narrowly ahead of the Suns by one game, striving to avoid the play-in games. On the other hand, the Sacramento Kings sit at 45 wins and 34 losses, securing eighth place and one of the play-in spots. They trail the Pelicans by two games, seeking to overtake them for the coveted sixth-place position. Sacramento's recent form hasn't been ideal, having lost five out of their last eight games leading up to Thursday night's matchup. 
In their most recent outings, the New Orleans Pelicans have struggled, dropping five of their last eight games. Nonetheless, they are coming off a strong performance, clinching their third consecutive victory by defeating the Trail Blazers with a score of 110-100 to on the road. Trey Murphy led the charge with 31 points, sinking five three-pointers, followed by C.J. McCollum with 29 points and Zion Williamson contributing 22 points, seven rebounds, and three assists. Despite shooting 41% from the field and 11 of 36, Six from beyond the arc, the Pelicans surged in the third quarter, outscoring their opponents by 35 points and clinching a 20-point lead at one stage. Meanwhile, the Sacramento Kings are also struggling, having lost five of their last eight games. Their recent setback came in the form of a 112-105 road loss to the Thunder. Daron Fox led the Kings with 33 points, eight rebounds, and six assists, supported by Keon Ellis with 23 points and Keegan Murray with 15 points and 10 rebounds. Despite initially dominating with a 20-point lead in the first half, the Kings faltered in the second half, allowing the Thunder to outscore them by 67-41. Heading into the matchup, the Pelicans will be without Brandon Ingram, with Naji Marshall listed as questionable. Conversely, the Kings have Jordan Ford and Keegan Murray both listed as questionable for the game. They say it's tough to beat the same team three times in a season, but what happens when a team is poised to secure their fifth consecutive victory against a rival? It appears the Pelicans have Sacramento's number this season. Darren Fox notably performs below his average against New Orleans, averaging 18 points against them compared to his season average of 26 points. The Pelicans have more at stake in this game, with a win offering them a realistic chance to maintain their sixth seed position, whereas Sacramento would require multiple favorable outcomes to advance to sixth. Without key players like Huerta and Monk, the Kings' offensive prowess has waned, leaving Fox as the primary perimeter threat. Zion Williamson is healthy and demonstrating the potential he exhibited years ago, while C.J. McCollum has been on a scoring streak, netting at least 29 points in his last four games. Despite recent challenges, the Pelicans seem to be healthier and have won their last two games, contrasting with the Kings' struggle and close loss to the Thunder. Both teams are jockeying for playoff position and seeking to avoid the play-in tournament, making this a critical game for both sides. While the Kings may have a home court advantage, the Pelicans possess more talent and appear undervalued. Moreover, the Pelicans have dominated the Kings in recent matchups, winning their last four encounters, including a commanding 33-point victory in January. With offensive issues following Monk's injury and Murray's uncertain status, the New Orleans Pelicans to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Both teams exhibit a similar tempo and will be missing crucial wing players. Brandon Ingram's return remains uncertain for the Pelicans, while the Kings will be without Huerta and Monk. These absent scores will likely impact offensive production. Historically, these teams have often fallen short of the total score in their meetings this season, with three out of four matchups resulting in undares. New Orleans boasts the league's 25th longest defensive possessions, forcing opposing offenses to work harder for open shots. Similarly, the Kings rank 27th in defensive of possession duration. As the teams gear up for the playoffs, expect an intensified defensive effort, especially from the Pelicans aiming to secure their sixth place spot. The Kings, eyeing a higher seed, will also step up their defensive game. The Pelicans currently rank as the top team in defending against three-point shots. Both teams play at a moderate pace, and given these defensive capabilities and recent trends, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.